As Mark said, uh, it's really it's really critical now. You know, we've all heard about the and we've all experienced the tough economic times we're going through. The state, you know, we can't go through business as usual. We can't go through, uh, you know, get mired in what we've done as a state, rely on our corporate taxes uh, to bail us out. We have to be aggressive about pursuing new businesses, incubating our own Delaware businesses, and working collaboratively with our surrounding states. So we're not the old insular Delaware, but we're active Delaware. We're out recruiting businesses, we're working with other states, we're developing those businesses. Uh, I'm, I'm really proud to be one of the uh, two legislators chosen by the Newcastle County Chamber uh, as somebody who's actively supporting our Delaware businesses, because quite frankly, that our Delaware small businesses are what's going to bring our economy around, and what's going to have to bring our economy around. We need to get that money flowing, we need to get the investment, we need to encourage, we need to incentivize, we need to make sure we give you know, our gross receipts tax. It's, it's, it's untenable to, to our operating businesses, and it doesn't make sense as a government that we should take that money, and we want to encourage that money to be invested. Uh, at the end of last session, uh, me and, and, and uh, reaching across the aisle to a couple of our our, our friends and one of the other honorees of the uh, Newcastle County Chambers uh, event. We uh, sponsored a legislation to cut back the gross receipts tax in exchange for something really crazy. We we're going to fund it off of uh, eliminating 500 state positions through attrition. If we lose over 2,000 state employees every year. We could hire, say, 1,500 of those back and uh, really fund this reduction in size of government, fund the gross receipts tax reduction this year, and then the savings will be double next year. We need to start thinking along those measures. The government's not going to take care of our problems. It's our businesses that are going to fund the recovery of this country and especially of this state. And that's what we need to fight for. I mean, if it's now more than ever, it's the economy, stupid. And if we don't focus in on that, you know, we're all going to be in trouble. Economy is going to drive our education system. In fact, we're going to have businesses coming in wanting to be in our public schools. It's going to raise the level of focus on our public education. Uh, people living here want to live in a clean environment, so we're going to have to keep our environment safe. But without that business and economic development coming into our state, you know, we're going to be in trouble. I think we need to think outside of the box. We need to think about things like the Delaware Film Initiative. Um, the Delaware Film Initiative is, is, is a way of, we've looked at 47 other states have a film incentive program. Why are we one of the three that does it in Delaware? So we've taken, like, like other states have done to our corporate uh, set up our franchise taxes, we've taken from the best and we've adopted it and we've proposed this program where we didn't have to put up any state money, we collateralize a loan from a bank to a film company, they'd come here, spend money, hire our employees and invest in our economy and promote our tourism. And I think we're really gonna we're gonna see that bill go next year. We have a lot of support. We, you know, the contractors are behind us, the unions are behind us. I just met with the city of Wilmington, they're behind us. It's a bipartisan event. But things like this, there's not gonna be any silver bullet we need to try things like the Delaware Film Initiative. We need to give tax credits uh, for new hires. We need to lower our gross receipts taxes. We need to incentivize our landlords by giving them a, a tax credit for, for uh, renting below market value to our startup businesses. We need to think of things like this and we need to put them in quite quickly because we can't just react and wait for the economy to be better. We have to make it be better and welcome all of your ideas because you're the ones out there living this battle every day. Please get back to us. Please get back to the Small Business Caucus. I think the Small Business Caucus has, has really grown into an important organization down in Dover. Uh, please keep participating in that. I appreciate your support, and thank you for your support for my first re-election. I hope to go down there, and in two years, we're going to have Delaware be a better place than it is today. Thank you so much.